I'm Trisha Nicholas, and I'm going to be reading today from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. I don't know about you, but when I read this scripture, I grew up in the church, and it was probably the first verse that I memorized. Um, I see it on mugs email signatures, bumper stickers, um, and at first it was white noise to me. So I went ahead and I read it again. So I'm going to read it again, and I'm going to emphasize the words that I circled and underlined while I was reading it this morning. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Easy, right? Just trust. To me, that's such a such a hard word to grasp. It doesn't seem practical sometimes. And so as I was thinking about it, I was thinking, I feel challenged by this. What am I trusting God to do in my life right now? What am I not trusting him to do? And so since trust can seem kind of abstract, I was thinking about what are some ways that I really sit down and I I make sure that I'm trusting him. I can't try more to trust him. I can't read more Bible verses to trust him. I can't um, sit in a quiet corner to trust him. To me, it's taking time to sit there and acknowledge God's power, but then also to um, say out loud or journal or whatever manner that you're doing it to say, God... I give you X. God, I'm here again saying I need help with blank. And so for me, trust is an acknowledging of God's power. And so since I've read this verse over and over again, I had to sit and challenge myself this morning. For me, sometimes trust can be easy. I use that in quotes. In one area of my life today, trusting God for Um, adopting another baby one day. We've adopted one. We have a five-year-old. We would love to have another one day. That's Today, I feel peace about that. I feel like I'm trusting God. But I'm really good at compartmentalizing, and there's probably five other things that I'm not trusting God with today. For example, finances, my job, um, my family, my daily tasks, and if I'm going to get the things I want done today. So for me, I sat down this morning and I had to say, trust God with all my heart? Well, I'm trusting him with one little part probably. So sitting there and acknowledging daily that I'm trusting God and listing off these things. And sometimes it's minute by minute. Sometimes by noon I forgot I was trying to trust God with these things. But going to him and surrendering and submitting and saying this, I don't want it to be about me. He says to be not use my understanding at all. So I started to think about, along with the areas that I need to trust God with, what if this Christmas season, I trusted God with everything? Maybe I wasn't distracted by how many memories I needed to make for my five-year-old or um, the decorations that I needed to put out or even which family members are coming for Christmas Eve and how I'm going to provide for everyone that night. Maybe I would be inviting my neighbor to Christmas Eve service, or maybe I would be noticing who's hurting this Christmas season, especially after going through these hurricanes. I can't even imagine. So I know I have many areas that I need to trust the Lord with today, and I know that I need to continually surrender. I notice the words all. I notice the words none of me, and that I need to be continually going to God for his for his strength and not my own. So as you think of this verse today, I just ask you to think about what do you need to surrender and what do you need to submit to the Lord today and know that it's not a one-time thing. I might say the same exact prayer tomorrow and the next day as the Lord continues to work in me. Let's pray. God, I just thank you so much today for um, bringing us your scripture for allowing us to trust you and for allowing us to come to you over and over. Help me help us to trust you during this Christmas season and always help us to give you all of us so that we can have all of you and your strength and not our own. We love you. Amen. Amen.